what, what did you think about the experience coming here today? Yeah, I mean, it was a fun experience. Um, I was in a lot of those kids' shoes. Um, and when the guys I looked up to came to town, it was always a big deal for me. So uh, just to give them that feeling back, um, be on the other end of the table was, was a good experience. What were you thinking as those kids were coming in and grabbing a book, and, and what were you trying to do to help them out? Um, just try to guide them a little bit, uh, figure out what kind of books they like, and then show them where they are. Shay, what's your um, what's your experience been so far with Coach Dodd, uh, just in the short time you've been with the team? Yeah, um, really good. Um, we built a pretty good uh, relationship in the short amount of time we've, we've known each other. Um, but he seems like a really honest and, and straightforward coach, and guys like that I love playing for. Um, guys that are going to sugarcoat it and tell you how it is so you can get better. Um, I'm excited to play for him. Hey, what's this summer been like for you? Just obviously so much change, not only changing cities, but the, the franchise is in such a different place. Your, your, your sort of profile here is different. What's it been like? Um, it's been fun for me. Um, at the end of the, get, end of the day, I still get to play basketball for a living. Um, and I get to do it every day, so it's been fun. Um, and then I'm excited for the new opportunity. Uh, Went to school in Lexington, uh, also a smaller, smaller city, um, and it has like a homey feeling. And I get the same feeling here, so I'm excited. Shay, you knew Chris Paul last year as a competitor, uh, an opponent. Now you've worked out with him a few days. I mean, I don't know how long, but what if some of the things that you've learned just from um, experiencing practice with him as a teammate? Um, some of the things I like to keep secret. <laughs> um, but yeah, I learned a lot from him um, in terms of thinking the game. Um, angles and things like that. Um, he's obviously a really good player. Um, he's been a really good player for a really long time. And a guy that I looked up to um, growing up. So uh, I'll continue to learn from him as long as, I, as long as I get to. Are there anything specific that you see in his game that you know, like whether it's this season or sometime down the road that you can perform at a high level? Um, his ability to get uh, shots off at his size um, is what differentiates him. Um, and me obviously having more size than him would only help. It's sort of extra pressure on yourself. I mean, obviously, you're filling the same position Russell Westbrook played. Uh, any extra pressure on you just being in that particular role? Um, absolutely not. Um, I am not Russell Westbrook. I do not have the same name, same body type, nothing like that. Um, so I'm just going to try to be myself and be the best me, and then everything else take care of yourself. It's early, but what are your thoughts on the new team? Um, I'm excited. Um, I feel like we're really talented. Um, a bunch of guys that I've, that I've met so far are hardworking and are competitive, and with those three things, you can go as far as you need to. Have you met Steven yet? I uh, have not, but I look forward to it. Right. Tell the people around here a little bit about Gallinari. You might not know much about Um, Really skilled, um, competitor as well. I'm an, an even better guy than his basketball player. Um, one of my vets, obviously, for my rookie season, um, and I'm happy to, to have him still with me, I guess you could say. Shane, what did you think about the amount of responsibility you were given in your first year? I think you, know, you opened that playoff series and you're the guy that's signed to Steph Curry. Mm -hmm. What did you think about the amount that, that was given to you with the Clippers and the, the how you handled it? Um, honestly, I was just grateful for the opportunity. Um, not a lot of guys get to experience that their first rookie season. I mean, I learned so much from it. Um, the preparation before the game to things, obviously, during the game. Um, and, and things that'll, that'll go with me for the rest of my career. Um, and, and me be blessed to, to experience them and, and learn them that early is something special, so I appreciate it. Shay, what have you? Kentucky and you didn't start, you went that way first and you were starting. What, what is it you think about you that, that gives you the chance to, to earn those opportunities and, and then hold on to them when you get them? Um, I just think I'm a basketball player. Um, regardless of the situation, I'm gonna continue to work hard um, and play my game. And, I know that eventually it will come out and, and, and things like that, but um, I don't worry about starting. I don't worry about accolades or anything like that. I just work hard, keep my head down, and, and be true to who I am. Let's Tell us here. a little bit about your game, what you believe are your strong points and what you believe you need to maybe work more on. Um, strong points are leadership, playmaking, um, <laughs> Trading ability um, and then weak points, uh, strength. Uh, I feel like I need to be stronger, and I feel like I've done so. Um, and then just, I guess, shooting the ball from, from the deep, um, off the dribble as well as catch shoot. Going back to that year at Kentucky, you started with four other freshmen, including your new teammate Hamadou Diallo. You now the, the Thunder's dynamics of the team—it's unknown at this point, but 
it seems like the team's going to have to rely on young talent, you know, more so than they have in the past. So, what are some things you learned, you know, starting as a freshman with other young freshmen, you know, moving forward with that season that you can take on this year? Um, we're all young, so we all have things to learn, obviously. Um, but yeah, I don't use it as a, as a crutch, I guess you could say. Um, at the end of the day, we're still grown men, like they are grown men. Might be a little bit older. Um, but they still have to go out there and compete just like how we do. Um, so we don't look at ourselves as, as a bunch of freshmen to their ourselves as, I guess you could say, taking advice. But with that, is, is, is the experience of developing easier <clears throat> when you've got guys that are relatively the same age, the same amount of experience in the NBA as you have? Say that again, sir? Is it just the experience easier to develop as a team when <clears throat> guys around you are relatively close to you in age and experience? Yeah, um, you connect a little bit more. Um, and you're obviously the same age, you go through the same things. Um, but yeah, regardless, uh, as long as you compete and work hard, and things like that with the team. So, you so played with a couple other playmakers like Pat before, <clears throat> and Lewis on the floor when you had when you were out there. So, you think that that experience is good for you in terms of playing with Chris, maybe playing some uh, even with Dennis, just being able to play with another point guard? Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, like I said, if I'm a basketball player, uh, I can play multiple positions. So. Uh, wasn't too hard of a transition for me, but um, yeah, obviously needing to work on certain things to play off the ball more and things like that. Um, I've done so, so yeah, I look forward to it. The reports all said the Clippers weren't interested in trading you and held out to the very end. How shocking was it when you got the word that you had been traded? Um, it was shocking a little bit. Um, obviously, I can imagine for any player I guess traded, expected to be shocking. Um, but, uh, uh, I've heard a lot about this organization um, and how great it was. Since I the opportunity. You said you weren't Russell Westbrook. <clears throat> Obviously, when you when you know the history of the success that a player can have in Oklahoma City, does that give you does that give you a lot of inspiration to move forward to have success in, in a market like Oklahoma City? Yeah, um, he's done obviously a lot of great things for the city and for the organization. Um, set the bar pretty high. Um, but yeah, I'm not trying to chase his. I guess his achievements or anything like that. Um, he's just done a great job for it and he deserves to be commended for it. Russ set the bar pretty high on fashion too, and you're into fashion as well. Can you compete with him? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Shay, um, we like to joke around with Billy Donovan that he's recruited everybody. Uh, how far does your relationship go with him? Um, I know you, you were one point, correct me if I'm wrong, you were committed to Florida, but I think Billy might have been here already. But um, how far does your relationship go back with, with Coach Donovan? Um, I, I believe I, I met him on my visit at Florida, so that was kind of cool. Um, yeah, as far as that, that's as far as it's gone. I seen him on my visit and then obviously saw him when I got traded. So you said you've heard things about this organization so far has your experience. How has it matched up to what you've heard? Uh, above and beyond. Um, I've loved it um, so far. It's been great to me. Um, I just can't wait to start it. Steven Adams is a guy you'll probably have to depend upon quite a bit. What were your impressions of him uh, against him last year? Honestly, he was very annoying. <laughs> His screens were rock, and very annoying to get over. Um, yeah, having him on my side of the, on the, on the playing field would be, would be a lot better this year. Both at Kentucky and with LA, your production, your performance really surged in the second half of both of those. Years was there anything consistent in maybe your approach or the way that you were able to, to do that both of those years? Um, I just think uh, I'm like a sponge. I just soak things up and learn. Um, and as time goes on, I just get better because I, I learn from my mistakes and things like that. Um, that's the same thing I try, I'm try to do with this organization, this team. The show was ten been? years ago, eleven years ago, sort of started a new a new era and built around a couple of young guys, 19 and 20, Durant and Westbrook. It seems like maybe they're on the path to to try to replicate that with you as the face of the franchise. Is that something you embrace or something you look forward to? Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, but as far as, as mentally and playing the game, I, I don't really focus on that. Um, I just try to, try to, like I said, be the best me I can be. I just stick to, to, stick to myself and, and stay true to myself. Um, and if that's what it ends up being, that's what it ends up being. I'm not concerned about it. Shay, what's made this wave of Canadian basketball players so special? Guys like you and Jamal Murray. Um, I just think we've gotten more exposure um, with AU and certain things like that. Um, there's always been talent across the board. It's just really a, really a matter of being seen. Um, but yeah, and then guys uh, making it before us, and then uh, kids seeing us make it gives them a little hope. Um, 
so it gets kids, you know what I mean? Their dreams are coming true. Um, so it gives them a lot of hope they can, they can achieve it too. I mean, some of them do, some of them don't, but it happens more often. Who was a player that you looked up to when you were when you were coming up and playing basketball? Um, Steve Nash was big for me, um, especially obviously playing my position. Um, and then getting to work with him a couple years ago with Team Canada, he was big for me.